<laughs> my mic was muted. The whole time my mic was muted. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, let's try this again. Welcome to the show. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Mike I'm muted. Sorry. This is a horrible background, Dutch. No, it's a great background. No, it's, it's my background. You need to change this background. You want to say right hi away. to everybody? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Noob. Oh, gosh. Good thing nobody was here. Okay. So, uh, give it 200 seconds, and uh, the mic will stop being muted. Don't show your friends, Dutch. Uh, okay. So, where were, what was I saying? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Dutch Boyd Poker Show. Uh, we're back in Las Vegas after uh, after a couple weeks up in Vancouver. It's good to be back. Um, it is TwitchCon weekend. I've got my TwitchCon badge in the car, uh, but I'm not going to go to TwitchCon. I'm all traveled out, um, and I, I regret buying tickets now because they're non-refundable. You know, so it's just basically throwing away uh, however much it was. I think it was like sixty bucks uh, a ticket. One for me, one for X and A couple of things kind of bugged me about it. Um, okay, let's let's make the raise. Five hundred into Deluxe and Prudence. Fire into Deluxe on a nine nine ten board. Let's see if we can't get through. No. Not getting through. Not getting through to Lux. Look at his plane. That's calling station. Also spewtard. That's what my notes for him are. So I think we're just going to give up. Just giving up. Folding. Okay. So we are playing the $30 rebuy and add-on. 3K guaranteed nightly on WSP.com. I hope your weekend's going well. I hope your Saturday's going well, everybody. Sorry for the uh, the quiet start. Uh, what's going on then? It's TwitchCon weekend. There's some pretty cool announcements going on over at the uh, San Diego Conference Center. And uh, oh, good news by the June way. Should be, should, June should be playing this poker game. I need to tell you guys something that I did. So uh, June's been knighted. June has been knighted a service dog. I finally got tired of. Uh, paying the extra fees every time we travel for her to stay with us. And then I was looking at getting a rover for uh, this little TwitchCon trip. And, uh, I, and and Michelle was like, you know, you should just get her to be a service dog, like Marshmallow. I was like, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. She's like, yeah, sure you can. You're, uh, you've got a mental disability. And I was like, you know what? I do have a mental disability. I do have a legitimate mental disability. So well, I you know what you haven't really had any many episodes since you had June really. That's right, and so it turns out June that you can get a, a doctor's letter, um, and it's legitimate. You know, I, I actually called up my uh, my uh, psychiatrist, and he was like, "Yeah, we give uh, we give doctors letters. We give letters for uh, for uh, special needs dogs all the time for uh, for our patients." I'm like, "So what do I have to do?" And he's like, "Well, it has to be cash." But you got to bring in 150 bucks, and I'm like, okay. And then you just get a letter that says that, that says that she's a service dog. He's like, well, not that she's a service dog, that you need a service dog. So I get it doesn't go by the dog; it goes by the person. So uh, yeah, never gonna have to pay for like a hundred dollar ticket for uh, for June anymore when we're uh, when we're flying. But make sure you tell them the difference between an emo there's if there's different. Different, of different types of service dogs. There's dogs that actually go through a lot of training. Yeah. You know, there's dogs that actually like sniff bombs and uh, retrieve things for you if you have mobility issues and are like seeing eye dogs or like gets your attention if you if you if you're deaf. Um, and then there's June. June falls into uh, an emotional needs dog. And you might ask yourself, well, what do you need an emotional needs dog for, Dutch? It's illegal for you to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out there's only a couple questions that people can ask you about your service dog. Are you sure it's 
Well, they can ask what type of dog she is, but they can't ask what mental disability you have. They can't ask too much. And uh, I'm, I'm, we're getting her a little vest, and it's going to be legitimate. By the way, Scorpio and JPB subbing to the stream, keeping that sub going. JPB16, I see there's something different about you, JPB. Something different about you. I'm noticing a Twitch Prime crown next to your name guys if you miss this this is a this is big news it's great news for streamers it's great news for you if you uh if you have an amazon prime account i have an amazon prime account i love it you get a you get a crown next to your name no you don't get a crown michelle because you use my amazon prime account but uh not only do you get a crown next to your name you also get a free sub every single month that you can just pass around to uh streamers on uh on Twitch, and it's 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 huge. It should it should increase our our sub numbers, I think, substantially. I mean, it's it's going to be free for you if you have an Amazon Prime account. It's free for you now to sub to one channel a month. And if you've never subbed to my stream, you know you might as well subscribe and and get the uh, get the free free book, the free fist bump patches, and uh, you know spread spread a little love my way. But hey, Scorpio and JPB. Thank you very much for the resubs. Really appreciate that. Mr. Gambler99, good to see you. Um, I feel like it's a setup. I feel like he knows my game. But we've got two suited cards, so how can I resist? Go ahead and try to take it down. And he just gets out of the way. Just gets out of the way. The 7 2 is uh, it's doing good. SD Bub says, boy, are you loud? I thought it was on my end. Sorry, man. Sorry. I don't want it to be, uh, you know, you can always adjust that volume on, uh, on your video there. It's better to be a little too loud than too quiet because then uh, the, the commercials come in and just wreck everybody. So Papaya come in with a raise. Papaya. I think I'm going to just call here. We're going to play it a little bit, uh, a little bit tight, a little bit nitty. FM Faithful in the stream. Good to see you. We got uh, Malcolm, Broy, Bunyip Pouch, and yeah, boy, Casey. Close to a final table. Let's see if I can take this down. Good luck, yeah, boy, Casey. Good luck, man. Looking forward to uh, mixing it up with you, too, by the way, in Chicago. God, the mother of dragons. Vice chick, we missed all that conversation. It looked like you had a lot to say. <sighs> Starting it off with a bang. You know how we do it, Vice. You know how we do it, Vice chick. And JPB16 on tilt. Great to see you guys. So I think we're just done with this hand. Checking, checking, folding. Maverick BP in the stream. Great to see you, Maverick. Uh, hung out with, uh, with Maverick a little bit earlier today. We grabbed uh, some lasagna. Over at the uh, the Diamond Lounge. Okay, we're gonna make the full. Today? They had lasagna. Yeah, oh, I'm now it was like the me. one good day. I, I, when I think back on the the absolute worst meal I've ever had in my life, it was at a uh, it was at the Diamond Lounge at the Rio. They had these these boiled hot dogs that it was like a chili dog day. And I, yes, I did go back for seconds, and it was the lowest point of of my, of my entire life. Um, God, they were horrible. It still turns my stomach thinking about it, but every once in a while, the Diamond Lounge over the Rio will actually have something worth uh, worth eating. And today they did. They had a little bit of hummus and they had uh, they had lasagna, so it was a good day. Chilling out with my boy, my buddy, my friend, Maverick BP, my friend, my friend. Step over here for a second, my friend. I've got some speakers to show you. What kind of speakers do you have in your car? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a pretty good flop for us. Queen, ten of clubs. We got two clubs on the board. We are 80% of the way there to our flush. Uh, SD Bub, 15 months in a row. SD Bub, thank you so much for keeping this stream alive. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. So Dice J is coming in for a, for a bet, and I kind of think that it's probably worth it just to go ahead and get the rest of it in here. We are ahead, and if uh, if Dice J wants to make the call with a weird hand like Ace Jack, well, I think we're still even ahead of that. If Dice J makes the call with like a pocket pair, we're ahead of that. Well, we're probably not ahead of Ace Queen. 
All right, nice call. It's pretty close though. How how far behind are we? I'm gonna have to go to uh, propokertools.com online equity calculator, and let's take a look. the uh, The board was eight of clubs, three of clubs, three of hearts. Was it? Did he have the back door? No, three of spades. Three of spades, and we had the queen of clubs, ten of clubs, he had the ace of hearts, queen of hearts, oh, let's simulate it. It's very close, but he's slightly ahead, 52.73 to our 47.27%. So definitely uh, not what we wanted to see. We wanted to see him have something like an ace jack, not an ace queen. I wonder if he has an ace of hearts, ten of hearts, if that changes anything. No, it doesn't. Same matchup. But if he had the ace jack, we're in pretty good shape. In pretty good shape. And, and a lot of times we can get a guy off of an ace high. And uh, we got Golden Master. We got Wisco Al in the stream. FM Faithful. Just subscribe to Twitch Prime. Uh, hey, Faithful, thank you so much. I, I got to tell you, it really means a lot. And uh, I really appreciate you. This is the first time anyone's actually subscribed to the stream with their Twitch Prime uh, free sub. So I really appreciate that, Faithful. And, you know, I mentioned some stuff that we give away. One second. This is what you get. This is what you get when you subscribe to, uh, to, sub to, subscribe to the, ch the stream here. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to send you a digital download link to my book, Poker Tilt. It's a magic book. It's got an invisible title page. It's the green screen, everybody. But uh, you can read it on your Kindle or your iPad. Uh, if you don't have that and you have like just a, a computer or a, an iPhone, there's lots of PDF readers. And uh, it actually works pretty well on any sort of tablet or, uh, or like a laptop or something. I like reading on my, uh, on my tablet, and every once in a while I'll read on my, uh, on my computer too. And then uh, these, a couple of fist bump patches coming your way. We'll send them anywhere in the world. Thank you so much for, uh, for using your free sub on my channel. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Faithful says, you can have my, my prime cherry Dutch. It's mine too. It's a kind of a special <laughs> sub. <laughs> Our prime cherries. Oh, my gosh. Hey, uh, thank you so much, Faithful. We'll really appreciate that. Uh, Young Gun Pro says, Dutch, will you ever go back to Canada for Poker Stars, or did that leave a horrible taste in your mouth? I was very disappointed with that whole trip. I won't, I'm not going to lie. There were a lot of things that were very frustrating about that. Um, but now that I have it set up on Stars, I don't really see the need to go back to, to Canada for it. I, I kind of feel like I could just take the drive down to you know, Tijuana the next time I want to play on, um, on Stars. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened, Young Gun Pro. I went up there. And uh, had it set up too. You know, I had talked to uh, I talked to Bax about playing the W Coops and uh, especially the W Coop main. I was really looking forward to it. And then I get the bad news that I can't accept player transfers. Why? I don't know why. I never got really an explanation. I emailed him back. I, I kicked him up the chain, and uh, not really not really happy with how, how that all went down. I, re I really am not. And uh, you know, I, I kind of felt like. I also was very much let down by the, 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 the complete lack of difference as far as Twitch numbers go. I kind of felt like, okay, if we get up to Canada, we start streaming earlier in the day, and we start actually streaming these deeper fields, then uh, we're going to see a drastic increase in Twitch viewership. The fact is, there wasn't. There wasn't really a difference. <laughs> it was the same. Um, so... Why? Why do it? You know, pricey six eight seven to subscribe to the stream. Pricey, thank you so much for supporting the stream. To your, your, your first prime there. I'll send another one to you. Oh, okay, great. So faithful and pricey. Uh, Exum was sending over the uh, the welcome email to you. Um, so check your Twitch message box for that. And if you miss a spiel, pricey, you're gonna get a couple fist bump patches. You're also gonna get a uh, download link to my book, Poker Tilt. So uh, thanks so much for supporting the stream. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't be here without you. Guys, we're on a break. Four minutes and 26 seconds. We just started.
So, uh, I'm not actually going to take a break. I want to tell you about some poker news that's going on this week. In case you missed it, it appears that uh, Ignition Poker, Bovada, basically, is pulling out of the U.S. So, starting today, um, you're not going to be able to play on Bovada anymore. Or ignition poker anymore. They're just not offering uh, action to the U.S. anymore. They got uh, they got they got the crackdown from the the Kanawaki tribe that they uh, that, that licenses them, and the Kanawaki tribe finally said, you know what, guys, you're actually uh, you're actually breaking U.S. laws here, and we're not going to license you if you keep on offering uh, poker to states that don't allow you to offer it. So uh, you need to pull out of the U.S. or we're going to pull your license and ignition. And Bavada said, okay, we're going to pull out of the U.S. So what does that do? What does that leave us with? Pretty much just ACR. Now there is only one, uh, one real option when it comes to U.S. facing illegal offshore card rooms. I mean, there's others too, I guess. There's smaller ones. Rob's Art says, welcome to the world. Roman Green, 5 pound, 14 ounces. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations, Roman Green. You know who else had a baby? You guys need to give him a big, uh, big shout out when he uh, comes in the stream next. Uh, just was it yesterday or was it Thursday? I think it was Thursday. Two days, two days. Was uh, Not very long ago. was Flatty? Flatty just had a a new baby Beautiful too. Another baby. So uh, when he comes in, you guys have to uh, give him the shout out and uh, give him the congratulations. Was there a lot of highway music sound at background? In there was a ton of highway. Uh, Highway sound in Canada. Huh. Yeah, you know, it, it was just it was a, it was a frustrating trip. You know, it was tiring. You know, the the drive was torture. And anytime you're kind of stumbling around in a new country and you don't know what you're doing, I mean, like as soon as we crossed the border, my phone stopped working. You know, I'm like, what? Yeah. What no just warning, happened? No you know, I'm like, I'm driving, everything's fine, and then no GPS. No GPS. I'm like, oh. That's right. We're not in Kansas anymore. You know, this is uh, this is just like one of the one of the pains. And so, you know, it's that 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 sucked. Converting money, and every single time you convert American dollars and Canadian, you know, into Canadian dollars, there's like they're juicing you for like three percent. And then, uh, but it was it would have been all fine and good if uh, you know I got a chance to actually play the tournaments I wanted to and did well in them. But I didn't get to. I got. I did play three W Coop entries, um, and nothing really went there. You know, nothing. Didn't really hit anything good. Uh, made some day twos of some of the mini W Coops, but um, it just it wasn't worth the time and effort getting up there. It wasn't worth the money spent staying there. Can you tell your the crew that you you decided to to bring the the shelf back? Yeah. I also uh, I made a big decision, you guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real big decision. We're bringing the shelf back instead of the uh, instead of these dogs playing poker behind me. We're bringing the uh, we're bringing the shelf of many things back. So that's something to look forward to. <laughs> oh, Doyle. Good to see you in the chat. He says, "What's up, chat? First time in here. Just want to watch some poker. Everybody having a good night? Yes, I am having a good night. I feel good today." We got Draft Better. Just subscribing with his Twitch Prime. Really appreciate that Draft Better. And I love that big announcement. It's uh, It was really awesome. Uh, really awesome that, that announcement that if you have Amazon Prime now, then you get all sorts of really cool benefits. One of the benefits that we get, let's see, Turbo Burn says, is it only a digital copy of you sub? I like the physical copy if that's possible. Well, if you want the physical copy, you can buy it on Amazon. Um, but w yes, that's it's just the digital copy. It's just the PDF, EPUB, and Mobi, all the different uh, digital versions. If you do want the digital copy, I think that there is a, uh, yes, there is the link. You can uh, You can pick it up there. It is cool to have the option, though. It is cool to have the stars option, Vice Chick, and I'm sure that I will um, will play some more in, in the future. 
you know, I'll play some scoops, I'll play some W coops. Uh, I'll I'll know that player transfers are not an option, so I'll make uh, you know I'll, I'll make arrangements to actually wire money in. Um, it's it's so lame though. I mean, it's just it's just really frustrating, and it's just a, a lot of hassles, and it really makes me appreciate the uh, the ease of of just walking into the Rio to deposit money and cash out money. I mean, that's it's so it's so much easier with you know when, when you're playing uh, on WSOP.com. I, I I hope that one day we're going to see uh, see it become just as easy on Stars. You know, here in the states, everywhere, that would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. Interesting. Young Gun Pro and Vice Jake are both playing on Ignition right now. So. So that means they're not out of this country. I don't know. I thought that they were uh, were pulling out of the states, and I had talked to a couple people just today that said they couldn't play on there anymore. But if if you're playing on Ignition right now. We got Young Gun Pro also playing on Ignition right now. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll look at. It, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that the news, the news story was that they're pulling out of the state. So I'm not really on sure. Stars, right? Or poker on news, right? Let me see. Kanawaki Ignition Poker. Five days ago, Poker News, Kanawaki Gaming Commission forces Bavada another online. Uh, uh, you put, sites. You put the, um, link in the chat so people are oh, but look at this. Kanawaki, look at this. Kanawaki agreement will not impact ignition poker. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta love it. I gotta love it. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm misinformed. It says this is on September 27th on USA friendly poker sites. Which uh, trying to get you to play on Ignition Poker. What's the difference between is that the new brand? Is that why? Residents of New Jersey, Delaware, and Nevada will not be able to sign up for a new account at Ignition, Ignition Poker. Um, but it looks like everybody else can, and it doesn't look like they. It doesn't look like the Kanawaki Commission is going to have much of a say in what Ignition Poker does. So I guess that's good news. I guess that's good news. Rob UGA97 just subscribed to the stream with his Twitch Prime. Rob UGA, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the uh, the sub. If you missed it, uh, if you missed a spiel, you're going to get some. You're going to get some swag for supporting the stream. A couple fist bump patches. Download link to my book, Poker Tilt. And uh, my uh, my forever thank you. So really appreciate that. Okay, so Ace is up. He's got Amazon Prime. Where do I go to use my free sub? So here's how you do it, Ace is up. You have to go to, I think, I think twitchprime.com is, is where you can, where you can link the uh, accounts. And JPB, I haven't yet. I'm uh, I haven't subbed yet to somebody. I'm I haven't decided who I'm gonna Me. give my uh, my Twitch Prime sub to yet. Prince Ponce, good to see you in the stream. And Powder Fresh, it's great to see you. It says it was a good read. Thank you, thank you, man. Really appreciate that. So, thirty-eight out of fifty-nine guys. We're up to fourteen thousand two hundred and thirty. So pocket fives, we can play this a couple different ways, but uh, never folding. So let's just make the call. We're getting three and a half to one. We're going to uh, quad mine here. Five. Uh, I wasn't thinking five thoughts. I needed to think harder. Think 
Hard or Dutch? What do we think? Is that a good flop for fives? It's not that bad. If uh, Silver Fox w doesn't have a queen and Antimorphy doesn't have a queen, then maybe we have the best hand. So Silver Fox firing out 2141 into 2855. And getting the call, we're not about to overcall. We, we might continue with the hand if Antimorphy wasn't here. Shorty Lambert just subscribed to the stream. Shorty, thanks so much for uh, keeping the stream going. Not your first time. Not your first time subscribing. Really appreciate you uh, hitting that sub button again and keeping, uh, keeping the channel going. Really appreciate it, man. So, guys, can we get some fist bumps for Shorty? Pop a couple fist bumps in. <laughs> and JPB. JPB says, uh, By the way, guys, not only do you get, uh, with, with your Amazon Prime account, your Twitch Prime, not only do you get a free sub every month, but you also get other stuff. You also get swag every month, like in-game items. I got a, uh, a new hero that I get to play on Hearthstone, but it's a priest. Bleh. MJ Livingston, making the min raise. I could three bet here. I think I'll just see a flop. Ace, ace, nine. We're just going to check fold. Gildox1882 just subscribed to Twitch Prime. Gildox, thank you so much. Man, this little Twitch Prime announcement was really cool. So not only do you get uh, free in-game loot every month, you get ad-free view ad viewing. So it's just like having a, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the Twitch Turbo. I think that it, it's taking over for Twitch Turbo is what's going on. So now instead of Twitch Turbo, now you have Twitch Prime. Um, and Amazon Prime's awesome, guys. If you don't have Amazon Prime, you should sign up. It's really cool. You've got, uh, you, you, not only do you get free shipping on everything that you, you buy through Amazon, uh, which that alone for me makes it worth it. Because uh, I, I buy a lot, of, a, a lot of, of my stuff on Amazon. Um, pretty much everything. I hate shopping. I absolutely hate shopping. So besides grocery shopping, and now, wow, you, Amazon's even doing grocery shopping. Um, Dead Draw Todd, wow, 18 months. Has it already been 18 months? It feels like just yesterday when I first started the stream. Had no idea what, uh, what I was doing. Uh, wait a minute, that was yesterday. <laughs> hey, Dead Draw Todd, thanks so much for keeping the stream going. It really means a lot to me. And I uh, wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. Thank you for being such an awesome part of the crew. Uh, Max10K asking, is this 88? Eight poker site. It's an 888 skin. Uh, it's WSP.com. It's legal poker in Nevada. Um, let's go ahead and make this uh, 2.5x here, 1500. There we go. Persuade by asking. I've heard some bad things about full flush. Uh, poker fraud alert has a whole uh, a whole thread over there about full flush poker having some severe issues. And I didn't really delve too much into it, but um, if you have money on full flush, I would definitely advise you to go check out the thread over at uh, PokerFraudAlert.com and uh, and see what's going on there. All right, so Dice J decides to go for a four bet, and we're sitting here with pocket eights. Not only do we have to worry about Dice J, we also have to worry about Deluxe, who's sitting here overcalling an open and a three bet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and bow out of this one. Yeah, making the fold, making the fold. And Simpson H just subscribed with Twitch Prime. God, I love it. Simpson H, thank you so much. Guys, don't forget, if uh, I love being able to actually see it. I love it when Dice J actually shows us that, yes, Dutch, you made the right fold with the pocket eights. Don't forget, it doesn't matter if you subscribe with the, you know, with, with, uh, you know, the subscribe button or subscribe with your Twitch Prime account. You get the same, uh, you get the same swag, a couple of fist bump patches, 
the Poker Tilt digital book. Hey, uh, Simpson H., thanks so much. Really appreciate it, man. Sue. <laughs> thanks, Shorty. <laughs> Let's take a look. We've got... Uh, What else is going on? Uh, big news in the GPL, right? So uh, the GPL, it looked like it had been struggling. You know, the uh, the, the views weren't weren't really what uh, what Alex Dreyfus and I think everybody involved in the GPL and, and everybody watching were, were kind of hoping they would be. Uh, you know, we were I think we were all kind of hoping that it was going to revolutionize poker. We were going to see. Uh, you know, all uh, a whole new fan base rushing in to watch, uh, but as often happens in life, hype is 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 usually bigger than reality. The reality of the GPL was that it was, you know, it has been a little bit of a letdown, and a lot of people were kind of scratching their head, wondering if it was going to continue. Um, there was uh, a pretty a pretty discouraging post uh, where Fedor Holtz. And uh, you know he's part of the GPL. He's he's one of the top players on the uh, you know on the uh, Hinden Mob ranking GPI, where I guess he had loaned Alex Dreyfus, the the owner, uh, some money during the World Series, and Alex didn't pay him back, and it was it was looking kind of sketchy, and so a lot of uh, you know a lot of players, myself included, were kind of scratching our head, wondering whether the GPL was going to be around, whether it was going to be able to pay its, uh, you know, its season one uh, uh, players, whether uh, they were going to be around for a second season. It didn't look like they were getting any, uh, any uh, real interest in, in sponsorships. Uh, it, it, the future didn't look bright. Uh, this week, there was an announcement, and it turns out the Poker Stars stepped in and is going to be the exclusive sponsor of the Global Poker League. Now, on the one hand, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It means that you know there's money coming into the GPL. Uh, they probably, <clears throat> they probably, <clears throat> sorry, they probably wouldn't have made that deal if they weren't confident that it was going to be around for another season. If they weren't confident that it was going to be able to meet its current obligations to its players and its teams. Uh, so that's a good thing. Why do I think it's kind of a bad thing too? Um, well. I think it's kind of a bad thing because it's the exclusive sponsor. And you know, I remember I remember when Mike Sexton was talking about the need for sponsorship back in the late nineties. Everyone's been talking about how we need outside money coming into poker for poker to ever really be anything. We need to change this whole poker as a negative sum economy. And the only way to do that is to have other money coming in. This is how you know, this is how you see it in, in other uh other sports and other games, this is how they you know, this is how uh, they're able to offer huge prizes uh, for you know for the masters, um, but you don't really hear about you know a, a lot of people losing their college you know tuition uh, trying to be a professional golfer. You know, this is th this is why you don't see a lot of professional golfers who are you know who have a bad year and you know are are begging for entry fees. You know, this is, uh, this is a problem with poker. The problem with poker is people lose money, and it's a hugely negative sum economy. So how do we change that? We change it by getting outside money in. But poker star's money isn't really outside money. It's the same incestuous money. It's, it's, it's the same rake money, just basically going into marketing to, to go back into the rake. It's not outside money at all. Um, so that's, that's one reason why it's bad. Why else is it slightly bad? Well, you know, the, 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 way, that, the way that the GPL works, I, I think that having PokerStars be the exclusive sponsor is probably going to lead to a lot of nepotism within the GPL. So that's why it's kind of bad, too. But I think it's uh, not as bad as having uh, as another announcement that could have come through. So Dice J firing out 1178. We've got the gut shot straight. We got a queen. We got a ten. We're gonna just give up on this. Yeah, I'm just gonna give up on it. 
it's not as bad as another announcement that could have happened. You know, the announcement could have been GPL is uh, is is closing its doors, um, is shuttering, and that would have been a really bad announcement. That would have been much much worse. You know, this is this is good. It it gives them some money. It keeps them afloat, and uh, you know, keeps them marching. And you know, with 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 PokerStars support, PokerStars does have a, a lot of uh, a lot of marketing muscle that they can throw at promoting the GPL. You know, so I I th I think overall it's more good than bad. Definitely more good than bad. And if you are part of like uh, if you are a PokerStars sponsored pro, it's very good. If you are you know Alex Dreyfus, I think it's good. It's very good. <laughs> Faithful, that's great. Uh, C Manx says, "What's up, Dutch? What did you think of the play on Stars?" C Manx, the next time somebody comes through saying, "Yeah, but the, the people who play on Stars are much, much better than the people who play on WSOP," uh, I'm just gonna have to shake them because uh, I, I can't believe the amount of bad plays I saw on Poker Stars. Um, I guess now that I look back on it, it makes sense that the competition would actually be tougher on WSP.com, given that um, it's people in Nevada who are kind of industry types. Everybody knows you know, knows their way around a poker table, knows their way around a casino, a lot of local grinders, a lot of local pros, and uh, you know a lot of people who came out to, to Vegas to pursue poker, uh, a lot of people within the industry. So you don't have just the completely clueless type of uh, players that that I saw on uh, on stars. I I, I still I, I still am in awe at some of the uh, some of the punts I saw people people making. So uh, yeah, I was I, I I thought that the play was pretty much horseshit on on poker stars. <laughs> Truth be told, um, the the fields are so deep though. You know, that's one thing is that, like, it, it was kind of frustrating because on WSOP, you know, you make the money and you're pretty much at a final table. We got 76 people in this in this tournament. And if we look at the uh, places paid, it only 15 paid. So if you make the money, uh, you're only six people away from actually being at the final table. So there's so much more variance on Poker Stars because the fields are so huge. But as far as the average... Uh, level of play goes on stars versus average level of play goes on WSP.com, uh, it was lower. It was lower. And yes, I'm sure that long tail, I'm sure that the best players on stars are better than the best players on WSP.com. Sure. You know, there's there's millions, uh, you know, of, of players on stars. So yes, I'm sure that, you know, you take the top 0.01% going to be a lot more really good players but there's a hell of a lot more bad players ZS if unreal uh, I was gonna go to twitchcon I have a badge I have Michelle's badge but I just got I just got traveled out I just didn't feel like going um, yeah I was I was pricing it out and I was looking at being in a car for another 10 hours round trip uh, hoteling it and I'm so happy to be back home and I was like man I just don't want to go. And, you know, I had a conversation with Michelle, and she's like, well, what do you hope to accomplish by being there? I was like, well, I, I wouldn't mind seeing the panels. But all the panels that I would want to see, I can see on, on Twitch anyway, and I was watching them all day live today. You know, it's a better seat, you know, watching it online. You know, maybe do some, you know, you know, meet some other poker streamers. You know, Jamie Staples is there. I wouldn't mind meeting him. You know, I talked to Elky about maybe uh, grabbing some food. Um, didn't really feel like going. That's the truth of it. I'm conferenced out, and I don't. I I just don't really see uh, see it really being worth the time and effort to to go out there. So that's the. Uh, that is um that is why i'm streaming it's like oh well they have steve aoki is that how you say his name how do you see how do you say his last name dj steve aoki 
pronounce Steve Aoki. Steve Aoki. Steve Aoki. Aoki. Oh, but here's Cora saying, why does Steve Aoki intentionally mispronounce his last name? <laughs> In Japanese, okay. Aoki is pronounced A-O-Ki. A uh, rhymes with Ma. Aoki. He says... Aoki. I a Aoki. So he says Aoki. So Steve Aoki mispronounces his own name. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. He's he's there at the uh, Twitch party, right? That's kind of cool. But he's here in Vegas. You know, like five minutes away. I can see him anytime I want to. I, it's just. I just don't, I, I don't really see the point in going out to San Diego to chill out at TwitchCon. BlizzCon, though. We're going to go to BlizzCon. Michelle has her, her, her heart set on BlizzCon. So I guess we're going to BlizzCon. I don't want to go to BlizzCon. I don't want to go to any more conferences. I want to just chill out and, uh, and binge watch shows on, on Netflix and Amazon Prime. I want to binge watch Luke Cage. <laughs> John Blaze, good to see you, man. Good to see you. And Jeff Jim says, John, it looks like your $3 rebuy is over now that Dutch is back. Yep. Sheriff's back in town, boys. Well, maybe not for this one. We're actually um, at the bottom of the heap here, 49 of 52. It kind of surprises me, given that we have 9,000 chips. It doesn't feel like we're short. I don't feel short. 22 and a half bigs. Persuade by asking to subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Persuade by asking. Really appreciate you spending your free sub on uh, on this channel. And um, it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Guys, can we get uh, can we get some fist bumps for Persuade by asking? Not the first time that Persuade by asking subscribe to the channel, I believe. But um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that you get that uh, that welcome email again just in case uh, just in case you need it. Paul Daywald Great to see you, Paul. I'm back. I'm back, buddy. It's great to see you. There's a guy that I wish would stream more. Everyone's always asking me, what, what, why, 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 isn't, why isn't Paul streaming? Is he ever going to stream again? I, I want to know if Paul's ever going to stream again. Like, uh, he, you know what he told me, you guys? He said it wasn't worth it. That's what he said to me. He said it wasn't worth it. It's like, uh, but if it's not worth it for you, Paul, why is it? Maybe it's not worth it for me either. God damn it. Paul, Twitch needs you, man. Twitch needs you. I need you. We're going to make the call here with 6-5 off suit. Ace Jack 7. Not the flop we're looking for. There's Jeff asking, you ever going to stream again? <laughs> you ever going to stream again? <laughs> we all miss you, buddy. And you know what the coolest thing was? Is when we had our, uh, we'd, we'd have our uh, delay synced up and we'd both be getting deep in a tournament. We'd both be at the same table or we'd both be at a final table. Have we ever been at a final table together? Surely we have, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. And we could just like multi-twitch it. And then I could see what you were doing. You could see what I was doing. The leveling began. It was awesome. It was awesome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, wow. I'm really tempted. How can I get through here, though? I mean, what could they possibly fold? So ZSDF Unreal, the poker panel is at 10 a.m. That is a very cruel start time. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be watching the poker panel from the comfort of my home. Hip ain't cheap. It's great to see ya. There's another guy that I wish that we uh, saw more of. Hip ain't cheap. You know, when, we, when I first started on Twitch, Hip ain't cheap was... Uh, 
who was one of the guys that was very active on here. And then for like a whole year, you were gone, man. And I kept on, I kept on asking about you. I'm glad to see you back uh, hanging out on Twitch a little bit. Definitely, uh, it, it's definitely great having oh, you here. Sure. Not the same thing without you. Let's go ahead and try this. Can we get? Can we bluff off a guy with a forty-five thousand stack? I think we can. I think we can. I don't think he's got an ace. So great to see you, Hitbane Cheap. Always a pleasure having you here. <sighs> I mean, I've been hitting the gym. Every time I, I hit the gym, I think of you. <laughs> I think about Hitbane Cheap. Oh, that's funny, JPB. Okay, so... Let's make the raise here. If Trevi decides to go all in, I'll make the call. Hey, Young Gun Pro, uh, it, it doesn't take a lot to get a service dog. So uh, if you if you have if you've been diagnosed with a mental disability, like and I got to think that ADD or ADHD would count, and you can go talk to your doctor and say, yeah, my dog calms me down, my dog makes me focus more. I, I mean, it doesn't take a lot. You know, guys, I don't like slow playing, but we're going to slow play. <laughs> we're going to slow play. Wow. What a turn. So, Trevi making the bet. You check, I check, makes the call. I think that maybe we can go ahead and make a uh, half pot bet here. Archangel Nico. Yeah, but who plays Priest? You know, that's I was like, oh, cool, new hero avatar. Oh, Priest. But it is kind of cool having another uh, another hero avatar. You know, I keep on seeing a lot of hero avatars that I don't know where they're coming from, like the Murloc hero avatar. Where, where did that Murloc hero avatar went? Because I went to the store. I was like, okay, you know what? I think maybe I'm going to buy that, that Murloc avatar because it's cool. <laughs> it's not in the store on the store so uh I, I guess there's other things going on that people are getting codes for for cool hero uh, avatars this amazon prime uh avatar is pretty cool though and uh you know what unreal i'm going to uh i'm going to go hit up hearthstone after this after this uh this tournament's over hopefully it'll be a long poker stream but once this poker stream is done i'm going to shut it down i'm going to re, re uh, i'm going to uh Remove the delay, and I'm gonna go uh, play some Hearthstone. I'll probably, uh, you know, finish an arena run, maybe do another arena run, but then I think I'm gonna go for legendary. I think I'm gonna go for legendary status this month. So uh, I'm gonna ladder up. <sighs> do that, Took. Good to see you. <laughs> John Blaze says I miss Jax. I miss Jax too. Jax was a good dog. Polarize. Great to see you here in the stream, man. I'll whisper something to you, by the way. Uh, Young Gun Pro asking, what was up with the highway noise during the Canada stream? Were you all right next to one or something? It was so tilting. Actually, um, 
I, I put I put highway noise on in the background on my uh, on my oh, radio there's no air conditioning because it calms me. Because I love that sound. It's like white noise. It's like uh, it's like ocean surf for me. So no, we were actually in the middle of the country, far away from many sounds. But uh, I just really enjoy highway sound. No, dude. Yes, we were by, <laughs> by a highway, dude. Um, pretty much uh, all of Vancouver, I guess doesn't have air conditioning and it was actually kind of hot so we opened up all the windows no, flop my hand great to see ya this is some pretty cool emoticons pope pope high pope run very cool great to see you in the stream wow that's interesting so i guess there still is a twitch turbo so Twitch Twitch Prime hasn't completely taken over Twitch Turbo. Interesting. You check, I check. Making the three bet. Three times are open. And Ace Jack Offsuit, I kind of feel like Ace Jack Offsuit starts shrinking against a three bet range. So I'm going to fold here. I don't know who you check, I check is. I don't know what his three bet range is. But I think on average when people are three betting, they're three betting better hands than Ace Jack. Uh, usually they're not three betting ace ten and ace nine. Okay, I'm gonna make the fold. Ah, uh, is that how that works with the SDF and real? So the Murloc is from Refer a Friend. Um, hey, if any of you have never tried Hearthstone, um, let me know, and I'm going to give you an, a, a, a referral link so I can get a Murloc hero avatar. Big Bill asking, are you in Vegas or New Jersey? Vegas, baby. We're in Vegas. We're in Vegas. Uh, okay, I'm going to make the fold here with King Nine suited. Wombat3710 asking, can you play on Ignition in New York? It, it, uh, it appears that you can, Wombat. I thought that uh, Ignition was pooling out of uh, the U.S. Uh, the Kanawaki Gaming Commission seemed to be cracking down on their licensees, and I thought Ignition was a Kanawaki licensee. I, I could be wrong about that. Maybe that has, you know, maybe the uh, the transfer from Bavada to Ignition has something to do with that. Um, but uh, from from what I can tell, y Young Gun is, it seems to be telling me that um, you can, in fact, play on Ignition as long as you're not in New Jersey, Delaware, or Nevada. Uh, should you? Probably not. Probably not. But uh, they're going to allow your action. Still going to be illegal. Prince Ponce, no, the, uh, the the picture is not in memoriam. It's not it's not, <laughs> it's not an in memory picture. Turbo Burn asking Dudge, are you gonna play the Gwent game? I feel like I'm getting set up for something here. <laughs> I feel like I feel like maybe the Gwent game was like the Bofa game. I don't know. I, I'm afraid to answer yes or no, and I'm even more afraid to say what's the Gwent game. <laughs> really. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go ahead and make the call here. Against Papaya. I could 3-bet. Papaya is crazy. So let's just call, see a flop, see what happens. 3-3-10. Three, three, eh, it's not the worst. <sighs> we're just going to give up on an ace high. On a 10 3 3 board, are we going to say, oh, Papaya must have? He must have a pair. Nah. I think Ace High is actually good here. I think Ace High is good here, and I'm willing to go ahead and put in a, another uh, another turn bet and a river bet to, uh, to make him actually show me something better than Ace High. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check and deuce the bluff because I think that Papaya has something like uh, king jack queen jack 
and the ace is a pretty good bluff card for him. Of course, if we're uh, if we're ahead, he wouldn't be calling with anything that, anything that we're beating anyway. So making the call here and hoping that we don't have kicker problems. So he did have us beat with a 10 and uh, ran out for a flush. So that Ace of Clubs was pretty much the worst card for us. Pappas, three months in a row, really appreciate it. Definitely uh, not as long as, uh, as Pappas has been supporting the stream. Pappas has been here since uh, pretty much the beginning. So really appreciate the sub, Pappas, and uh, really appreciate you supporting the stream. All right, let's max it up. All in. Pretty good. Dodge that up. Uh, fuck. <sighs> so that's going to do it. 47 out of 76. That sucks. But, uh, yeah, at least I get to shut the stream down and play a little Hearthstone. Uh, I'm going to take a, a little bit of comfort in knowing that we had Papaya pretty much, uh, uh, pretty much nailed on that hand, just dominated. Had him in the power position, you know, just uh, giving him the, the old what for, and uh, the turn did not agree. So that was, uh, that was a little bit frustrating, a little bit frustrating. Captain Wesker, good to see you dig in the fur. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm uh, going to shut the stream down. I'm going to turn the delay off. I'm going to bring it right back. I'm going to play some Hearthstone. And, uh, yeah, Polarize, I'm going uh, I'm I'm to send you the referral link so I get, I get this little Murloc, uh, Murloc Shaman. Uh, gosh, I wish we didn't just get knocked out there. That ace-queen. Blech. Sure, want to, yeah. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. 